Equipment. Gather the appropriate equipment needed for wound cleaning and repair before beginning the procedure. This includes equipment for universal precautions, anesthesia, irrigation, and suturing. Personal protective equipment for universal precautions includes sterile gloves, non-sterile gloves, a face shield, and a protective gown. Equipment for anesthesia include a pair of non-sterile gloves, a syringe, a large bore needle to draw up the anesthetic agent, and a small bore needle to instill the anesthetic agent, and the agent itself, whether it be lidocaine, lidocaine with epinephrine, or the longer acting bupivacaine. Irrigation equipment includes a bag of sterile saline, irrigation syringe with tubing, and a protective shield. The equipment in a typical suturing kit includes the following. A needle driver, which has no teeth on it, allowing for easy manipulation of the suturing needle. In contrast, there is a Kelly clamp, which does have teeth on it and is used for tissue manipulation. Forceps, which are used for tissue manipulation, wound exploration, and needle handling. Iris scissors, which cut the suture material once each knot is tied. Sterile gauze to wipe away blood and other particulates and a sterile drape to maintain a sterile field once wound irrigation is complete. You will also need to select the appropriate suture material which is not included in the suturing kit. Generally they range from 3-0 to 6-0. The larger the number, the thinner the suture material. As a guide, facial lacerations require 6-0 sutures and high tension areas such as the extensor surface of the knee require 3-0 sutures.